so much for staying with us. A time for our conversation or discussion this morning, like I had earlier told you, we'll be looking into the Nairobi Metropolitan Services. And this time around, we're talking about the waste management. We want to see how the situation was, how things are, and where we are headed as a capital a city. I'll be speaking to or joining me in studio right now is William Kange, is the deputy uh, Director General NMS, he will help us to understand or to put things into perspective, including the fines uh, that has been proposed 200,000 shillings if you're found littering Nairobi. So, what happens next? Send us your comments to all our social media platforms, Y254 channel on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Y254 TV. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, no. Um, I know you are the deputy director for the NMS, but I would like to give you an opportunity to introduce yourself to our audience and maybe tell them something that uh, personally I do not know or they <laughs> think that they do not know. Okay, thank you very much for this invitation. Uh, my name is Alkange mm -hmm. I am the director general of NMS. And uh, I want to say that, uh, uh, of course, I'm not new to Nairobi. In 2018, I was the regional commissioner in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I've been to your studio and generally understand uh, a lot of issues that mm -hmm. goes on in the lobby, mm -hmm. uh, particularly on the contentious issues like solid waste management. Mm -hmm. So today I'm here to talk about a uh, solid waste management campaign, mm -hmm. uh, the campaign that we are running, uh, the innovations that we have brought in mm -hmm. uh, so that we can be able to improve uh, this very, very uh, contentious issues of uh, solid waste, waste management mm -hmm. and uh, specifically to get uh, Nairobians to buy in in our new approach mm -hmm. in what we are doing mm -hmm. and I want to start by saying that of course we, uh, NMS was created uh, through a deed of transfer mm -hmm. in the, on 18th March right. and among the, the, the four uh, major functions that were transferred to NMS mm -hmm. uh, environment and that is where solid waste, uh, you know, uh, falls in, mm -hmm. uh, is one of, 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 the, of the function. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that uh, among the four uh, functions, uh, environment is one of the most important, mm -hmm. if not the very the most important. Mm -hmm. uh, and really we, we have understood that in NMS and we know that uh, unless now we, 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 we get Nairobians to, to work with us. Mm -hmm we will not be able to succeed. Uh, for example, uh, when you took cover, about, about a thousand ton, ton, tons of garbage was being collected. Right. Uh, but then, uh, because of the effort that you have put, mm -hmm. uh, we are seeing that uh, now we are collecting about 3,000 tons. But remember also, of course, basically, traditionally, garbage collection in Nairobi uh, is done through what you call contractors. Right. Uh, currently, we have three contractors, mm -hmm. that is three contractors uh, really who are given areas to collect in terms of zoning. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a transfer function, we were expecting that some of these uh, contractors will be transferred to NMS. Mm -hmm. But that not with the study, we, 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 we are doing well. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, the, the, the other areas that uh, con contracts have expired, mm -hmm. uh, for example, we have uh, advertised uh, open tender for contracts all right we'll be getting deep into that because i know there was there was a problem with contractors uh, according to the reports that are out here uh, in terms of being paid mm -hmm. and why nairobi had continually been that even after the uh, having our governor uh, who was uh, there but now um knowing that the the, the, the you, you drive through the motor of uh, efficiency, meeting effectiveness. How was the situation when you came in? I, I, you have just mentioned a little bit of, of it, but now how, how is the situation now? Because we have, we can see, we can see in our eyes, but what are some of the effort, uh, achievements you have made so far? Okay, <clears throat> we've done a number of things. One, uh, of course, we, we, we continue working with those contractors. Mm -hmm. But I say that uh, we have four zones where now we are advertising our own contractors. Mm -hmm. So we are saying that uh, very soon we'll have contractors that we can be able to control. Mm -hmm. But also say that uh, one of the zones which is very critical, uh, which is Tarehe, uh, already we have actually, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, in the final stage of 
actually proc procuring contractors. Mm -hmm. We are hoping that uh, once we do that, we'll be able to get at least uh, 10 contractors. And uh, we are hoping that uh, we can be able to ask each contractor uh, to bring as many roles as possible. Mm -hmm. So we are saying that uh, we are going to increase more efficiency, we are going to increase saturation of these uh, contractors. Mm -hmm. In addition, uh, we are using uh, NYS. Remember, we are also hiring NYS trackers. Mm -hmm. Of course, they are, they are playing a very big role. Mm -hmm. Now, in, that, in addition to NYS, we are also actually repairing our own trucks. Remember that uh, we were able to repair 83 vehicles mm -hmm using very little money uh, and some of these uh, 83 you know, vehicles, some of them are trucks. Mm -hmm. So again we are using our own uh, trucks to continue really uh, you know, putting our hands together to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. But also remember that uh, also what we are doing, we are actually being creative. One, we are brought in the issue of multi-agency approach. We are bringing other, other players and other agencies. For example, we are working with, with Ngaos. Mm -hmm. Ngaos, uh, that is Nairobi, uh, National Government Administrative Officers. Mm -hmm. We are working with the police. We are working with the NEMA. Uh, so that uh, we can harness our approach mm -hmm. in terms of really coming together because each person is playing alone. Mm -hmm. Now, in that multi-agency approach, we have created what is called the word uh, solid waste management committees right now th these uh, world committees are, are very inclusive in terms of uh, composition mm -hmm. uh, and therefore we have even the police there we have the complaint officer mm -hmm. and we are saying that uh, apart from the traditional way of collecting garbage we want to loop in now the the, the, the residents and uh, you'll find that in those world committees we have even representative of the what we call resident associations. Eh? Mm -hmm. You see, in Nairobi, residents are very well organized along, along resident association. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, now, you remember that uh, resident association use what we call private service providers, mm -hmm. who they pay uh, to collect their garbage and to take that garbage to the dump site. Okay. But uh, previously, we found that uh, most of these, uh, you know, solid, I mean, uh, private solid uh, providers. Mm -hmm. were actually dumping garbage anyhow. Mm -hmm. They would dump it along the railway corridors, in, along the rivers. Mm -hmm. But now with this committee, what we are, we are bringing in the issue of now of law and compliance. Mm -hmm. And that is how we are in, you know, renovating. And I want to ask Nairobians, so that now we are telling Nairobians mm -hmm. that if you find somebody dumping the garbage illegally, uh, please report uh, through, through those committees. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition, we are using what you're calling, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, law uh, regulations and the bylaws of the council. Mm -hmm. uh, a number of uh, laws we want to use. One is, for example, Naro the Nairobi City County Solid Waste Management Act of 2015. Mm -hmm. It talks about a number of issues. One of them is that uh, every owner of a, of a house or, or premise is responsible to, to ensure that uh, 10 meters radius uh, of his area or her area is, is clean. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are also uh, penalties on the contravention of some of those things. We are saying, for example, if you are found uh, you know, dumping, uh, you'll be contravening one uh, section 36 of, of the Act. Mm -hmm. And the offences ranges from 100,000 mm -hmm. or even 12 months in prison mm -hmm. all the way to 300,000. And even for even repeated offenders are even has are given harsher uh, penalties. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, we also use what we call the MCA Act. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an environmental act, mm -hmm. which is even more harsh, uh, with the fines exceeding half a million. Mm -hmm. So again, we want to combine a lot of things. We want to combine the law. Mm -hmm. We want to combine uh, the issue of really uh, voluntarism mm -hmm. of Nairobians. And we are asking Nairobians to help us in terms of some of these things. Uh, allow me, uh, you have mentioned the uh, people or persons uh, in the area. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming uh, when you see this, you're speaking even to the residents, say a place like uh, say Makadara or even Pipeline. Is it the responsibility of the tenants or it is the landlord who bears the weight of the uh, disposal management? 
Uh, this is because I'm also a tenant here in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So normally, say, of course, the, the landlord will give you the house. <clears throat> right. But you see, there is an arrangement uh, allowed that particular estate where people come together mm -hmm. and agree that since we want to be part and parcel of this environment, mm -hmm. we will uh, contract uh, a private service provider. Right and actually pay some money mm -hmm. for this provider to take garbage, to collect our garbage and dispose it the right way. Now, we want to start registering. In the next three months, we are registering all these uh, service, you know, uh, uh, private service providers mm -hmm. so that we can be able to, to set certain regulations for them to follow. Mm -hmm. And even, uh, you know, uh, do a campaign and sensitization mm -hmm. to inform them that once they collect this garbage, they are supposed to take it to the uh, to the dam site. Mm -hmm. Again, we are saying that uh, if they also contravene the, the law, and that is why we are seeking the registration, mm -hmm. we will be able really to, uh, to they'll be able to face the penalties also. All right. So it's a it's a very uh, integrated and uh, you know uh, very unique system that we are we are adopting. Mm -hmm. But you are also saying that uh, probably you know NMS has you know. 90, uh, for example, 50 percent role to play in, in garbage in the issue of environment. Mm -hmm. But you're also saying that Nairobians have about another 50 percent. Right. The way they organize around the, 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 the collection and the way they also monitor for us to ensure that this garbage is not dumped, uh, you know, in, in, in the wrong places. We will also be uh, registering uh, certain, you know, areas within the sub-county where garbage can be carted away mm -hmm. and collected from there of course, you remember the old system of the beans, right. the green beans. Yeah. So we are bringing in that, that issue of the, of, of the beans and all that. But also, uh, apart from that, and, we are, and that's a traditional way of doing, of collecting garbage. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also innovating in other ways. For example, uh, we are establishing what we call the central, uh, the, the, the central composting plant. Mm -hmm. We'll be setting a, a central composting plant. I found that we'll recycle ga garbage material as fertilizer and we will, of course, of course we'll be working with the Ministry of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Secondly, <coughs> we are also partnering with Kenjin on the production of energy uh, through recycling a dam site. Mm -hmm. Now, this will be a partnership <coughs> with Kenjin. Right. And what you're doing is that, uh, and is, is part of the diversification strategy, mm -hmm. because we are moving from a traditional method eh, mm -hmm. to expand and diversifying. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that we can be able to really get uh, it right. Mm -hmm. So we are saying Kenjian, of course, will have an opportunity uh, to produce power uh, through garbage. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we are going to do ourselves, we are going to provide the, the, the site, the lad. Mm -hmm. Kenjian will, will be able to provide, uh, of course, the finances and all that. In the end, uh, Kenjian will, will, will benefit mm -hmm. because they'll be uh, selling power to the grid. Right. And also NMS will be able to benefit by actually, you know, getting an, an, an income. Mm -hmm. Of course, we are also coming up with what, we are also gazetting what we call the, the color code, the waste streams. Now, color code, mm -hmm. code is, is actually a kind of segregation mm -hmm. uh, of the garbage, you know, and assigning certain colors for a certain particular type of garbage. For example, green mm -hmm. beans will be for the organic, uh, will provide green beans for the organic, uh, uh, you know, garbage. Mm -hmm. Of course, f then, then again, we are going to provide blue for the recyclables mm -hmm. and uh, brown for others. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, and this will be done through what you're calling material recovery facilities. We'll be setting about 17 material recovery facilities uh, in all the sub counties. Mm -hmm. We have started uh, piloting with one at Kangudo Asphalt Plant. So that through this, then, in a very small way, within uh, those sub-counties, then you can be able to start, uh, say, you know, uh, uh, you know, segregating this, this, uh, this garbage, mm -hmm. even for better management and all that. And uh, in that particular case, how, how will the common, uh, what kind of uh, awareness have you created to help um, a layman to know uh, I'm supposed to dump this kind of uh, litter here and the other not here and there? Yeah, thank you. This is part of the campaign, you know, uh, me, my, my appearing here, but also saying, remember we, we created the World, uh, World <coughs> Solid Waste Management Committees, mm -hmm. and these are local <coughs> committees where we have even uh, the Nyumakumi, uh, we have even uh, the, the uh, representative of the resident association. Mm -hmm. So we are saying that they are going to conduct their own, you know, balazas even within those localities mm -hmm. so that they, we can start of course we are coming up with a very good uh, strategy 
on com a communication strategy mm -hmm. where I will be saying this is what you're doing and these are the innovations that you're coming up, coming up with mm -hmm. you are part of and parcel of this so within those localities particularly I want to target uh, the resident association because Nairobi is the one that is allowed this resident association I've always been uh, a member of one <coughs> wherever I've lived mm -hmm. and I've been here for a long time in Nairobi mm -hmm. so even currently I'm a member of one I live in Mihoti court so we also one have one mm -hmm. so again when we have the this regular meetings then uh, as, as one of the experts, I'll be talking about that, mm -hmm. even as we form this. So basically, the reach will be wide in terms of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. We are also trying to secure what we are calling, uh, you know, disu unused, uh, disused uh, quarries and, and learn to, you know, to come up with, with the lead fields. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's something that we are looking at. Uh, and uh, eventually, um, and also we are trying to establish what we call a uh, solid waste management fund. Mm -hmm. uh, which will be, you know, a, 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 um, a basket where, mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, people who are stakeholders in the environment will be able to contribute, for example, donations, grants, and even the environment organization, and also the government. Mm -hmm. And this is a wider approach in this issue of, of garbage. But really, what we are appealing to Nairobians is that uh, traditional methods of collecting garbage are not enough. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, hiring contractors is not enough. These contractors can always uh, lay down their tools. Mm -hmm. You know, these days people are <laughs> well informed. But <laughs> you are saying that if Nairobians are involved, mm -hmm. then they can be part and parcel of this. But you are saying that all these approaches, mm -hmm. we will be able to get uh, a new way of doing things. And we are appealing to, to we are asking Nairobians to, to, to go with us, you know, to buy in, into this idea and all that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what, what kind of engagement will you have with the people in the slums? Because now I, I know these are the kind of people at times they, they, they live a careless life. If they have to dump, they will dump anyway. So how, how are you planning to engage them and teaching them this is the right way to dispose garbage? Now, remember that we have a very, uh, you know, we have a big plan of improving, you know, life in the slums. We are doing uh, like Mukuru Kwa we are doing the roads, tarmac roads, mm -hmm. we are doing the sewage system, and we have even sunk about 200 boreholes, you know, littered across Nairobi and all that. So that is part of the national hygiene, uh, you know, uh, uh, program that you are dealing with. Now, when they have organized it, when they have learning water, and when they have even a uh, uh, good road, mm -hmm. even uh, we'll be able to come in and uh, identify areas <coughs> within those informal settlement mm -hmm. and provide the, 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 the green beans. Mm -hmm. So that even our trust can be able to access, and the issue has been always accessing, accessing this informal settlement. You know, there were no roads, mm -hmm. there were no, there were no, you know, system there, and therefore, uh, and you see, these are very obedient people. Mm -hmm. Remember that we are also running the national hygiene program, where Nairobi has employed 56,000 youth to clean their own environment, mm -hmm. to clean their own areas. The government is paying them a daily wage of about uh, 450,000, I mean 450 shillings. Mm -hmm. So that within their localities, without even traveling far, they can be able to clean these areas. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, we have looked in them in, they, they are part and parcel of this, and even within the Nyubakumi areas, mm -hmm. we want to continue with this uh, balaza and all that. All right, I, I want us to take a very short commercial break. Then when we come back, mm -hmm. we'll look into uh, how are you planning to look into the population density, considering there is also some level of literacy or illiteracy for that case, and how you're planning to do that. We take a very short commercial break. We'll be back. Please stay with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We also want to really reach the, the Nairobian people wherever they are mm -hmm. and tell them that even with, with less, less, the, the less tracks, the whole issue is the mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, even with less tracks, uh, less personnel, if we are part and parcel of this as Nairobians, mm -hmm. uh, dense, dense, the dense population not with the study, mm -hmm. we can be able to do it. Mm -hmm. We have set up uh, the first uh, Saturday of every month, even moving forward. Uh, this, ma this month of January, mm -hmm. and we're hoping that by Saturday we are, uh, we'll be able to do it so that uh, we can set that Saturday so that Nairobians can come together. Mm -hmm. Every person in their own uh, homestead localities, they need to get involved. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. in terms of uh, you know cleaning the cleaning up and collecting garbage. Of course, uh, that particular day we will be able to go out of our way, even to provide more more trust and all that, and even to bring in you know, more people. So basically, the other issue is also about uh, a little bit of uh, good management of these contractors. Mm -hmm. And the uh, NMS, we we of course we are doing it. Uh, we are saying that we will be paying our, our, our suppliers and our contractors on time mm -hmm. because one of the biggest issues is that these contractors they are, they are not paid on time right. and uh, what, do you th don't, what do you expect if they are not paid on time mm -hmm. and they are putting their resources into this uh, action mm -hmm. then of course they, 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 they will run the tools. So these are some of the things we are doing at my, my, and you see it, it's multifaceted, this, this approach, mm -hmm. where you know you, you, you have good financial management in terms of paying contractors on time, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, you know public education and sensitization mm -hmm. to bring in people, in terms of forming this uh, small unit of, uh, of, of committees mm -hmm. in the resident area, mm -hmm. and also increasing, increasing the sources as we move forward. Mm -hmm. So basically that is what we target to do. All right. Uh, if you're just tuning in to I254 TV, we are speaking matters Nairobi Metropolitan Services. One of their vision is to have, have Nairobi being a modern green city. We saw the rehabilitation of Michuki uh, Park. And of course, we have seen the cleanup that has been done in Nairobi. So uh, what do you feel about uh, these NMS services? How do you feel the uh, success progress is so far? Send us your comments to all our social media platforms, Y254 channel, Facebook and Twitter. I'm speaking to Kangede Thuku. He's the Deputy Director General, Nairobi Metropolitan Services. Now, I understand there will be fines when you speak uh, about the rule of law if people have to follow this and I, I have some comment here I want us to engage this um, the argument of this guy called Josiah Nyangwachi he said the establishment of an NMS and appointment of the Director General is a good in intervention by the national government. Uh, this was necessary to support the Nairobi County deliver services to its people, institutions and business in general. Such intervention normally requires managers who are firm and committed to solving the problems. But Still on, on there's another one said, you are on the right track, however, a fine of 200,000 shillings is the perfect recipe for massive corruption. His argument is, the very reason for police corruption is the unreasonably high traffic offences fines and the very long procedures for paying the fines of the law who refuse to bribe. And he goes on to give an example, the fines end up in police or kanjo pockets, not the government. So he says 99.9% .9 of the Kenyans can, can't afford to pay those sort of fines and end up solving the problem the best way they can. Like, I know when I, I'll pay 200,000. Mm -hmm. But I have a police here, because this is what happens. <laughs> so do you think this one, as he argues, is a recipe for corruption? Yeah, first of all, we don't need, we don't need to reach there. <coughs> we, 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 we may not reach there. Mm -hmm. And we are saying that uh, if Nairobians, you know, comply with the law, mm -hmm. you, really, you don't need to be arrested and uh, be fined that amount of money. Right. But again, on, of course, we are aware uh, from where we are coming from in terms of uh, corruption within enforcement mm -hmm. and, and generally, uh, you know, uh, in uh, our, our system and all that. Mm -hmm. But and that's why we have come up with this committee, which is a multi-agency committee. So we are not leaving it. Uh, to the police alone. Mm -hmm. We are not leaving these issues to, uh, of course, uh, uh, NMS enforcement team because NMS have their own enforcement team. Mm -hmm. We are also not leaving this issue to uh, NEMA and environmental uh, you know, officers. So we are saying it is a, 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 a committee which will have accountability uh, amongst itself mm -hmm. so that when people are arrested, there are no uh, side discussions. Mm -hmm. You've been arrested, uh, dumping on the, on the liver or on the railway corridor. Mm -hmm. You are going to be actually taken in and all that. Mm -hmm. But let me say that also, uh, and it's good because you see, uh, these are what we call the talent uh, fines. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be arrested. If the f and therefore, the issue of whether the, 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 the fines are big mm -hmm. or not, mm -hmm. it's neither here nor there. So if you don't want to be arrested and pay that fine, Please just comply, do the right thing, mm -hmm. and this is possible and all that. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, that's how we are taking care of uh, you know corruption within uh, you know individual agencies doing it alone. Mm -hmm. But again, we are telling Arabians, 
you really don't have to be arrested mm -hmm. and don't have to be fined. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, with all these uh, grand plan to make Nairobi a green city mm -hmm. or to make Nairobi great again, if uh, so to speak, what are the, some of the key challenges and policies that you have faced and what is being done about it? Of course, uh, we are create, Of course, we are green in Nairobi, and we are starting with a number of parts. We are doing, uh, you know, even Jiva G, you know, mm -hmm. uh, making it even a better aesthetic so that people can go there and, uh, you know, relax. Uh, you can any time during lunch hour, you can go to Michoki Park and relax there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, trees and green, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, green, mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, people and we are asking people really to go there and and be able to. Uh, benefits from some some of these green areas, mm -hmm. but also we have come up with about we are, we will be uh, rehabilitating seventeen other green spaces. Mm -hmm. In every sub county, we are looking for a green area, mm -hmm. so that uh, Nairobians now we can we are not we are saying it's not just on alone, mm -hmm. and therefore that's a program that we are doing. Of course, we have put a number of resources into that, so that our city it's it's really a green city. Mm -hmm. uh, in the sun. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Now, with the with the relocation of uh, bus terminals, there's there's one that has been moved to railways uh, club, and next to it is Uhuru Park. What is the safety of Uhuru Park in the next one year, knowing that people are lighting from? Uh, the state terminals there, they will pass through railways, maybe coming up here. How safe will the, or how will be the situation of Uhuru Park in the next few months to come? Yeah, I want to say that uh, there will be no interference because you see, um, uh, the government was able to acquire uh, the place where, the space where we are taking the, the, the green park, mm -hmm. you know, where you have that parking. And we will be shifting once we are, it's complete. We will be shifting the railway terminal mm -hmm. to to the green park. Uh, of course, uh, there is a clear demarcation and separation mm -hmm. between that particular terminal mm -hmm. and Uhuru Park. Mm -hmm. And we will do our best uh, to avoid. I mean, to make sure that there will be no interference. But even within uh, the green park terminal that you are creating, mm -hmm. of course, there will also be a bit of uh, of greening. Uh, the question is that uh, is how well do, uh, do we manage it so that we avoid the uh, you know that interference. Mm -hmm. Now uh, there'll be an NMT uh, from the Green Park mm -hmm. all the way to the city, mm -hmm. so that once people are dropped there, they can be able to you know walk, mm -hmm. and we want Nairobians to be able also to walk within some of these NMTs. Mm -hmm. Uh, where they, they, can, they, they can walk in a relaxed way. Mm -hmm. So I don't see any interference with the um, Uhuru Park in t in t as a green space. Mm -hmm. After all, remember that uh, in Uhuru Park, people go to, 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 to Uhuru Park to relax. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even the population can be very high there. So again, uh, we, um, there will be no interference with that type of uh, with that ecosystem mm -hmm. that one I can assure you all right now uh, I know we, we're speaking of uh, solid management and at times we could speak of uh, the drainage in Nairobi always gets worse uh, we, we, we are told of the rains that will continue in this particular month what is the plan for the NMS on the drainage of Nairobi because maybe to some extent these litters block the gutters what happens what is your plan on uh, the drainage of Nairobi yeah, it's true that uh, there has been the issue of uh, drainage because of the blockage. Mm -hmm. But uh, you realize that uh, actually most of these uh, drainage trenches exist. Mm -hmm. And the issue is the continuous management of those trenches. Remember that we are also doing the CBD roads, we are really carpeting the roads. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we'll be addressing, even as we, 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 we do all this, <coughs> is actually to, to con constantly and consistently uh, open these drains. Mm -hmm. uh, remember that even the, the modern uh, highways which, which are coming up, of course in Europe, we have the Nairobi Expressway, mm -hmm. uh, the issue of, of, of drainage will be well addressed. If you take a walk to the, the Green Park, mm -hmm. you'll see that uh, we have really inputted the issue of drainage so that uh, we, we don't want to take a shortcut. Mm -hmm. And therefore we are saying that most of these uh, most of these projects that are coming up, mm 
-hmm. And we have several terminals which are coming up. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have the park road, the Desai, and, and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, those things, th those uh, terminals will, will, will be taken care of in terms of drainage. Mm -hmm. But basically, we are saying that uh, it's a question of you know, continuous management of these drains and really opening them, and opening them up mm -hmm. and avoiding the, the, cr the crogage and all that. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, maybe as we, as we conclude, we saw the burning of plastic bags, mm -hmm. but now we still have a problem with uh, plastic bottles. Partnering with other uh, companies and uh, maybe say Kenya Association of Manufacturers and other companies and the name itself, what is your plan on this? Do, can we foresee where we will not be using plastic bottles come in the near future? Now we will not um, we will not allow the use of uh, plastic bag is something that is that is, is, is the current government policy. Mm -hmm. uh, the issue is policing, mm -hmm. and I'm saying that of course yeah, that partnership, partnership with those um, you know agencies that you have mentioned. Mm -hmm. So again, even at this world level kind of coordination. Some of those issues will be discussed, some of those issues will be addressed. Uh, of course, the issue of the compliance of law will be used, mm -hmm. but I don't see our sales going back to where we are. You remember, you remember how choked this uh, the environment was mm -hmm. with this uh, plastic bag. Mm -hmm. So I don't see uh, us going back there, mm -hmm. and we are part and part of that you know, mm -hmm. team that is, uh, will be ensure that. Mm -hmm. yeah. should, should, should the plastic bottles be banned as well? Uh, let me say that uh, that is, uh, is something that has been discussed. Okay. It's something that has been discussed, uh, and I don't want to comment about that because uh, the debate has not been concluded. But right. also remember that uh, you know some of these things are done gradually so that we also don't you know completely break break uh, you know the, the, the business process. Mm -hmm. So again, that's an issue which is under discussion. Mm -hmm. All right. I thank you so much. I'll give you an opportunity to give us your final mm -hmm. recommendation and speak to the young people, especially when you're speaking of the uh, solid waste management. What is the role of the young people? This will be your camera. Thank you. Uh, I want to appeal to Nanobians <coughs> and particularly the young people. Uh, we have created, we have formed this uh, award, Solid Waste Management Committees. And I want to ask them that they become part and parcel of this uh, remember that uh, we have been doing the, the, you know, the, 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 the informal settlement hygiene program. So we want to ask you to be part and parcel of that, to be in the forefront, <coughs> actually, in terms of uh, garbage collection. We also want to ask you to form, to be part of this, uh, what you call private uh, service providers, so that you are the ones, you know, getting this small contract uh, to collect the garbage. But even aiming higher in terms of uh, getting these big contracts with trucks and help us. It's the only young people who can be able to understand this. Of course, we are also seeing the, the, the older, uh, the senior citizens. So I want to appeal you to you uh, so that you are sisters, you help us. We go together in terms of, uh, you know, putting our hands together and being part one part of that. Uh, Nairobi alone, NMS alone cannot be able to collect garbage. Yes, we will uh, hire trucks, we will uh, you know, pay these uh, contractors, but we are saying that uh, Nairobians are the ones who are going to help us win this war. Again, uh, as I mentioned, we have isolated one day, the first Saturday of the month. So I want to ask Nairobians, when we announce, and you're hoping to start uh, the first one this December, Please join us uh, so that uh, in our own localities we can get involved in this one important day uh, to collect garbage. But generally, get involved, uh, particularly the resident associations, get involved in this uh, world uh, solid waste management committees. Get to know what is happening there. Please manage, manage the private uh, service provided well because they are working for you. And again, please report to us those who are dumping garbage uh, in the rivers, in the roadside, in the railway corridor. That is my appeal to Nairobians. Thank you very much.
All right, thank you, sir, for coming and speaking to our audience out there. Nairobi uh, Metropolitan Services, you're doing a good job. Majority of us, if not all, are seeing you good work, and we're hoping it will continue. And back home, thank you so much for staying with us and keeping us company. He has been my guest, Kangiti Thuku, Deputy Director General, Nairobi Metropolitan Services. Uh, from here, we'll be taking a very short break. When I come back, it's Matters Career. Please uh, stay with us and continue sending us your comments to all our social media platforms, Y254 channel, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. See you in a bit. I'm Dereva Hilary. Good morning. <laughs>